Hello everyone. Today we will see how to install LaTeX in Windows. So we need two softwares evidently to install the LaTeX in our Windows. The one is a compiler which is called as MyTeX. The other one is called as an interpreter which is Tech Studio. So these are the two things which we are going to install. So before installing this software, we need to make sure that do we have a 32-bit OS or a 64-bit operating system. So how are we going to check that? We just have to go to our file explorer. In that file explorer, you would see this, this PC in your uh, uh, file explorer or you might see my computer. So you just click on this, right click on this, sorry, right click on this, then go to properties and that should open a new dialog box and that window should show you the system type under system. So this is, I'm using right now Windows 10 and the system type which I'm using is the 64-bit operating system x64 based processor. So these are, this is it. So if you are finding 32-bit, then you should follow along with the 32-bit operating system. Now let me close this and uh, as I have told you, we, I have verified that whether it is 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, so let me go ahead and download my Mic Tech as well as Tech Studio and tell you how to do it. Um, let me open this browser. And this browser is having mictech.org slash download. So go to this website. Then you would see this. Let me refresh it for you. Then you would see a download folder like this, download page like this. That should tell you what is, uh, it should actually automatically detect what is the OS right now you have and then you can download it. Otherwise, what you can do, you can just go ahead with the all downloads and there are basic installers, net installer, etc. So I'm not going to do all of this, but I'm going to do the basic installer. I am with the 64-bit OS. So I'm going to click on this basic installer. If you are with 32-bit OS, then you click on this 32-bit OS and click on download. But right now, I'm going to click on 64-bit and then basic installer and download. So click on download. That should download the file for you. Anyway, I am right now going to cancel this because I have already downloaded it. And similarly, the next one which you needed is the Tech Studio. You can just visit this techstudio.org, techstudio.org. Over there, you would see only one, one, uh, one downloads, you, even if you can just go to the download folder and try to download whatever the version you wanted. Here we have a Windows. If you are in Linux, then you can download the Linux version. If you are in Mac, then you can also download the Mac OS here. So right now I'm with Windows. So I'm just going ahead with the download, Windows, and the uh, first one. So the installer, to click on download. So that should download the Tech Studio as well. So I'm going to cancel this as well because I have already downloaded it. So I have both the files down, both the files downloaded in my downloads folder. So these are the two files right now I have. So the first thing which we have to install is the called as mic tech. So the basic mic tech. So double click on it. It's a usual procedure as what you uh, do when you are installing any software. So I have just download, double clicked on the mic tech and that is uh, asking me to run. So let's click on run. Mm, may take a while, but that's okay. Yeah, it asked here. So this is the basic mic tech installer. So click on the I accept mic tech copying conditions. Just click on next and install mic tech only for me or install mic tech for anyone who uses this computer. I want to install for everybody. You can click on this and go ahead with the, any other place. 
So this is the place actually you can choose where do I want, where do I want to install. So it's better to install the C program C C drive itself, and then click on next. And the specific internal directory is not empty, which means it's saying that actually I have already my tech installed on it. So what you can do is just click on next and then go ahead further, and then finally you just click on OK. So that's how you install the my tech. And the next one is the tech studio. So just click on the double click on the tech studio. <clears throat> so this gives the latest version right now. Uh, if you are using the older version of my tech, then you might have uh, a place uh, something called the my tech uh, package manager. I will show you in a while. So just click on S to S for the tech studio, and that should give you. Uh, this file. So just click on install and that will install the software. I have already installed this, so I'm not going to click on install right now. So I'm going to can just cancel it. So how do I check that whether my uh, program, my, whether my Mic Tech or Tech Studio has been properly installed? So once you install both of the software, what you can do is you can just go ahead and then uh, type cmd, which is command prompt. So just click on command prompt. That should open a command prompt like this. You can just type PEX, PEX, and then just click on enter. PEX and then enter. So that's opening a terminal based tech uh, version that this is tech version 3.1415926.5 as of now I am recording this video. Uh, but you must be, you may be seeing the uh, different version if you are seeing the uh, if you are seeing this video in future, but this shows that your text version is installed. So if you see anything, something like command not found or unrecognized command or something like this, other than what you are seeing right now, then you have not installed the my tech properly. That's what it means. That's what so I'm going to cancel this using control C. That's all. You can also type just tech under hyphen hyphen version. I hope so. So that should tell you what is it. So PEX hyphen hyphen version to tell you what is the tech version you have installed, etc. So this gives you a bunch of other options as well. Okay, so that's how you install the Tech Studio as well as Mic Tech for your uh, LaTeX installation. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.